Hey, um, hey, um, how are you? Good, Emerson. Um, I, I'm, I'm excited to talk to you. I love what I saw. Thank you for giving me the opportunity to talk to you. Great, great. I'm glad you liked it. Um, I, we got a lot to talk because, I mean, I, I think the first question, I want to be something, maybe something different, but I want to talk about getting picked up by Lionsgate. This is your first movie, and it, it gets picked up by Lionsgate for distribution. And yeah. I, what, I want to know what was your first reaction when you when they told you this, hey, we got it, this is happening, we're getting the distribution deal, it's going to theaters. What was going through your mind? Wow, for me, you know, um, it was great news. Uh, privately with, you know, just and myself, like, I knew that's where I wanted the film to go. So for me, I think it's, it's just fantastic, you know, what they have been so engaging and, and such a great place to land. I'm, I'm super happy. And, you know, with some of the, the films from their past and, and, and currently coming out, it's just a great, a great home for, for the film. I think, I think for Escape the Field, it's, it couldn't be any better. So I'm very happy. I'm excited for you because I, when I finished seeing the movie, I was like, we can go so many places with this. I mean, we, we can do like, I want to see like six movies, at least in my opinion, I want to yeah. see like six movies. So I, I, I follow up question to our first one. And, and this one is for, I know a lot of people that follow me are up, up and coming film writers and they, 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 see, they, see, they see you as an inspiration. I was like, hey, if he made it, anybody can do it because I mean, it's, it's complicated obviously, but you know, what what should what you know what you know what suggestion what recommendation what advice would you give them you know in order to follow your footsteps what what would you tell them you know um my advice is just follow your dreams and keep doing it i mean that sounds a little bit yeah canned but yeah. honestly that's it just keep writing keep meeting people keep keep moving and 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 that's really it is is it's a lot of just hard work the mm -hmm. next the next piece of advice i'd i'd give is and i think a lot of people kind of i say you know get on set go 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 start as a pa you know start moving around see how a set operates understand how things work and and knowing the industry from that side of things as you get get started, that's a huge plus. And it's mm -hmm. something that will help you as you move forward and, and move up the rungs, if you will, in your career. I, I want to talk about the cast, but let me first ask me, I'm being, I'm a huge horror fan. So this, this movie uh, was right down my alley. So it was an easy fail for me, but I, I got I to gotta ask because I love, I saw a lot of a, a bits and everything. I mean, I saw different, of everything in, in through the to the to the to the movie. So, what are your inspirations? What 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 you know? What makes you a horror fan like like we are? A bunch of people that are gonna love this movie. I'm gonna go right, right that. Right. What is your inspiration? Who do you see for inspiration when you when you were coming up with the story? Boy, there's a number of films you know that that affected me at an early age, or you know that I saw early on that just kind of built upon um, the stuff that I'm drawn to. Uh, storytelling wise. Um, for me, I wanted to come out and do something that was, you know, more of a thriller slash horror type film, but also it was a little bit elevated with some more story. So, you know, early on, some of the stuff that affected me most was Polanski's early stuff, uh, Knife in the Water, Rosemary's Baby, Dress to Kill, Alien, Shining, you know, um, Amy Deville Horror, The Exorcist. I mean, these are all the films that I, once I found those, I just started moving around in there. I think the first one that I ever saw as a little kid, and I saw it probably too young, would have been Phantasm. And I was like, what is this? And that just opened a whole new door to, to what's going on. And then, you know, later on moving through, there's been some great films that, <clears throat> you know, have come, you know, beyond those that I feel like were affected, you know, in many ways from that same building blocks, those same building blocks that you would find, you know, be that, um, gosh, you know, The Ring, The Conjuring, uh, and then fun variations of that, Cabin in the Woods, The Lionsgate film, but yeah, Saw, I mean, these are all kind of go into that pot and you can find something exciting and different and kind of look for new angles and, and try new things. I, I mean, I feel like we're both fans talking about the about the, about the subject, you know, about horror because I just the only thing that you've mentioned, I've, I've watched it all, and I can I can watch it again and again and again and again. Yeah. And again. 
I agree. Uh, so I, 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 let's talk about the casting a little bit before we enter a little bit in the, in the story, because I think the story sure. is something that people are going to just, they're going to eat it up and they're going to watch one more. And I, so I, 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 when, I when I ended this, the movie, it was like, uh, I need another one. So you can, well, I'm not going to wait two more years. For oh, that's fun. Thank you. Thank <laughs> so, you so much. Don't, don't make me wait two more years for another one, please. Yeah. <laughs> so just tell Lila again, no, don't, don't make him wait two years for another one. I need like six more. Um, but the cast is great. Chain West, Theo West. Yeah, Theo. Yeah, yeah. Theo he, and Chain are fantastic. He, and Jordan. He, and Jordan, yeah. How did the casting came about? How, how what? And, and, and I'm gonna, I gotta follow up, I gotta up for sure for that, but how did the casting came about? And how were, how excited were them for the project? You know, it, it was, it really came together fairly quickly once we found that window. The biggest challenge of this film was shooting during the pandemic. Um, we, were we were looking to go before and then the pandemic happened and kind of shut everything down. <clears throat> and I was, I had, I was, I was resolved to that was it. It wasn't going to happen. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then a window opened up and next thing you know, I'm in Toronto and we're making this movie, but with the casting, you know, Theo and I had done a movie a few years prior with a friend of mine, Eric Bress, um, called Ghost of War that we had shot overseas. And Theo and I kind of connected a little bit and we're into some of the same activities away from set running and, you know, different things like that. So it was a connection. So I immediately knew I got to go get Theo. Um, and then we found Shane and Shane and I connected as well. And he really loved the script. And then uh, we found Jordan who had just come off Umbrella Academy mm -hmm. and had a window and she was in Canada already. And it was just mm -hmm. like, so amazing. Um, just because she had just so much energy and, and was raring to go. And Tahira, um, gosh, Tahira Sharif, she's amazing. And how, what a, what a luck, lucky find that was for me with her coming off. Um, some great stuff with Mike Flanagan and uh, Julianne and Elena, like just all the way around, it, it worked out really, really well. So that was the big cast. The big, the cast just really came together quickly and I and, was blessed. And, and yeah, it was, I mean, the cast is amazing. It's really, really good. And everybody did a great job. To me, the one that stood out was Theo because Theo, man, you put him, you put him in some difficult situations without ending into any spoilers, but you put him in some, some difficult situations. Um, yeah. He's a fun character too. Like it's it's a little bit uh, casting against type for him, but yeah, great, killed it, I love it. Uh, this this type of story is important not to give everything away, and I and I think it's important it's, it, when you know when we're talking about the casting. I, they say the reason I say this is how did you manage? I mean, how what how much did you tell them about the story with the script, or did you just give them the whole script and you hey try to. Not, not say anything because it this needs to work without and not everybody knowing everything because it's a puzzle and there are a bunch of stuff going around how yeah how much did you gave them so i gave them the whole script um there were some challenges you know i'm not gonna lie we were shooting during a pandemic mm -hmm. um you know we were in a bubble between the hotel and the cornfield and there was nothing really outside of that so i had what was within that toolbox to work with so you know, it made it a challenge. Let's just, let's say that. That's the easiest way to put it. So I feel like we got where we needed to go without giving too much away and, mm -hmm. and, and understand the process of what's coming next. But, mm -hmm. you know, with the pandem pandemic being present, um, we shot this at a very reduced cast. We shot our, our, with a reduced crew. Mm -hmm. I shot the whole film single camera, which, you know, that was a challenge. <laughs> and um, yeah, so, you know, there, there was a lot of stuff there. I'm excited to see where we can go from here and, and, and different, I know where we're going, so that'll be fun. But yeah, I think people really enjoy it. And if you, if you pay attention and, and really listen to what the characters are saying and a few of the visual clues, you, you'll figure it out. You'll, you'll know what it is because I can, I'll share this much. Everybody who thinks they got it in some comments and things from the trailer, not even close. <laughs> that, I think that's what excites me about the movie, where we can go with it. I mean, there's so many things that we can do with it. And that's mm -hmm. what excites me about when I finished watching it. I was like, oh, I mean, holy shit, but I don't want to talk, yeah. about, I don't want to talk like that. But like, I'll believe it. But it's like, oh, good. <laughs> what, what can we do? Up, where are we going after this? And obviously, there's also a social message behind it, which is 
brilliant. So, I mean, I don't want to want to give anything away. Um, you mentioned something uh, that just struck me right now that I, I had it on my list of questions because mm -hmm. everything looks beautiful. I mean, the, the photography is beautiful. And you just said something that just blew my mind um, mm -hmm. that you had to do with one, one, one camera. I mean, how how do you, did you manage to make that work and make it look as it looked? Because, I mean, that shot from up top just blew my mind. So, mm. how, I mean, how did, were, were you able to make that work? Because that looks, the, the whole photography is amazing. Oh, you mean the, the opening shot, the yeah. ending shot? Um, that, uh, that was shot with a drone. Okay, okay. Uh, and then, you know, subsequently, you know, came down, put that together. Um, I did a lot of stuff everything on this film was storyboarded. So I okay. storyboarded the whole film from beginning to end. And then I would distribute those and we knew exactly where we need to go. And we would look for, we'd look for different things or, or, or something I might've missed day of, but primarily it was just storyboarded straight okay. up across the board. So to keep it, you know, I knew I was in danger a bit being in the middle of a cornfield mm -hmm. and all this being in corn. How do we keep this interesting? Yeah. How do I use depth perspective? How do I use mm -hmm. um, a visual story and and tell that without becoming boring? Mm -hmm. But I feel like we achieved that. I feel like it worked really well. So yeah. Oh, so we you... shot anamorphic. I shot on some some old Cook lenses. So that was a big deal too. <laughs> it gave that it gave it that feel. It, it also gave it that that theme that 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 color too. So you did feel you did film in location in a. Cornfield, uh, that was, I mean, it just looked so amazing, honestly. I, I, yeah. I have to come in. Yeah. Yes. And Toronto has become yeah. a, 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 a plug, perfect place. A plug. Shot it just outside Downey Farm. Downey Farms. That's cool. That's yeah. cool. Um, I think maybe maybe two final questions before I let you go, because I know we're all really busy. Um, sure. uh, what, what can people expect from, from the movie when they go see it? And the, the follow-up will be, if there is a little bit of a system to go see it because of the trailer, what would you tell them? Hey, you should you should go go see it. This is what this is the reason that you should go see it. I think if you enjoy films with a bit of intrigue and and excitement, you'll enjoy this film. Um, it's a fun ride. It'll pull you in. The characters are engaging. Um, you know, I've been told by a, a couple of people that it it the entrance into the film feels a bit like Lost. Um, yeah. <laughs> which I thought about, I was like, hey, it kind of does, that's cool. You know, I remember that. <laughs> so, I, you know, an unintentional, but great, I'll take it. Um, and that, you know, just the, the puzzle aspect is a lot of fun, but I think if you really pay attention to what's going on, there's a much bigger, mm -hmm. much bigger thing happening. Mm -hmm. I mean, I got the Lost references. I, I I already watched Lost like seven times from beginning to end. So I I oh, I'm a, no, I'm a huge fan of Lost. But the yeah, thing yeah. is, there's so many. There's there's a little bit of everything through the whole story, through the whole movie. So there's there's a lot to pick up on. So that's why I see I, I got so you know caught up onto it because I really loved it. So Emerson, again, congratulations! I absolutely love what I what I, what I saw. Hopefully, six more. I don't know. I'm, I'm kidding. But, <laughs> But, but maybe maybe two more <laughs> maybe two more luckily six more but you know maybe two more uh, and again amazing what you did amazing i mean just amazing thank you so thank, you. thank you all right